Hello, my Sock Universe. Yes, Bayan, because I want to talk now about what the impact is of the postponement of Euro 2020 on the UEFA competitions, namely Champions League and Europa League. And we'll talk about a little bit about what the uh, individual leagues have to do. And then, as I said, I still want to make the videos how we can move forward with the Premier League, La Liga, and so on. You have already for Serie A a possible video. Um, so that goes then in there. Again, I know there should be another scarf here. I'll find one uh, to make it nice to have a little bit more variety up there, not have this white hole. I turned this leaf around. It was actually, as I said, was original kids kids room and maybe let's get a little bit more up there to have it a little bit nice so again i'm wearing for the first time on this channel my new bayern jersey yeah because we're talking champions league and uh now i'm wearing all the jerseys that i'm usually not wearing or that are kind of new and don't expect me to wear this a lot out since i'm everything but a bayern fan but nice jersey and i have alaba on the back so that's fine um very quickly, um, no, not very quickly, we just get right into it. Um, with the postponement of Euro 2020, UEFA also postponed the current UEFA competitions. Um, and with the caveat that there is now a hard deadline, June 30th, that the clubs need to submit who will be playing in Europe next season. That makes sense because most, if, not, uh, if your contract expires after this season as a player, that's the date where it expires. So um, kind of that is a natural stopping point. And I know this will cause some trouble for quite a few leagues, um, especially England wanted to play until whenever they like or whatever uh, and needs to be seen. But at least UEFA says up until that point, you can do whatever you want in your local league, uh, but tell us who is playing in Europe. So I think um, I totally understand that I know it's not set in stone, maybe there's some leeway here and there, especially for uh, leagues that don't start already uh, qualification very early, so I think that there will be a little bit of leeway there. As for the Champions League and the Europa League, um, I think it will be hard to finish these, and I know there's a lot of money involved. But given that potential travel restrictions, I mean, just think about um, it's Atletico Madrid and uh, who else? Atalanta have to play each other. Uh, I mean, it's not that far, but given how the virus is spreading, I don't see international competition that easy to accomplish at the moment unless you kind of manage to get dates where you can put it on a neutral venue but for that you have too many games i mean you cannot just say scrap the return legs because for instance for napoli barcelona we have a tie so you will would need to find a way to resolve that then you could maybe go forward and see it also i think putting the champions league and the europa league on top of a pretty cramped calendar already might put a burden on the leagues that yeah for the small leagues is not big for the but for the big leagues it will really force them what i suggested for italy to make a mini league of five i think there's an option to also make a mini league of six which i might explore um at a later stage because that might also make a little bit of sense maybe a bit more sense than splitting it into leagues of five but uh just saying that so yeah uh I think, as I said, I'm not sure if it's that important, except for financial. Yet yeah, there will be a lot of losses, and I have barely talked about the financial stuff. Uh, and losing the Champions League is a lot of uh, loss of revenue. I actually would say split the prize money of all the teams that are already in the quarter quarterfinals. Um, give them uh, maybe a little bit more prize money to those that are still not yet there, but basically split it evenly between the teams that are still involved i think this would in my <laughs> very uh almost communistic way of thinking would be the fairest way split it evenly among the teams that are still in there um where you don't have 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 a decision maybe you can say okay every quarterfinal spot gets the same thing and then uh like barcelona and napoli have to share it <laughs> barcelona will not not be happy but i think there are many ways where the clubs anyway have to uh, come up with that and might give some clubs a little bit 
of more financial uh, security. Who knows? Um, so yeah, now if it was to happen, uh, we surely will. I don't think we can play it all home and away. I think it has been a neutral venue. I mean, there has been the idea of floating around making a final four in the same venue. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, the question is, will it be able, will it be able to play uh, with people in the stadium? Highly unlikely, I would say. So you have to consider that. I think the Europa League uh, is. A yeah, we are getting also call all the finals, but they are, you know, all of them are still open in many ways. So yeah, it, it really, I don't see the. I think the urgency is to finish the leagues. I think that is more important than uh, handing out the European title. And I know it sucks for Manchester City. It sucks maybe also for PSG. I totally understand that, but. Again, at the moment, all travel is ground to a halt. Do you want to travel with the bus along Europe? Do you want to have maybe, you know, airlines will may go under and maybe you have to, um, uh, tra tra travel cost will increase. These are things I don't think it's a priority at the moment. I think the priority is within each country, finish the leagues. Then we can think about European comp 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 competitions. I think that is not the worst uh, solution. Is it a perfect solution? Absolutely not. I mean, we all love the Champions League. Europa League maybe less so, although this year I was very much enjoying it up until last week. So these are my thoughts on the UEFA comp competition. As I said, I'm going to try now until the end, the end of the week go through the leagues and then maybe we finally get to some collection stuff and jersey stuff unless there are some more recent developments. Anyway, let me know what you think about all this. I know the one thing I'm not considering is all the money that's involved, but, uh, you know, because there are TV contracts, uh, they will have loss of revenue, breach of contract. What is going to happen there? This is a little bit beyond me, but I'm just taking it from a purely football point of view and also purely point of view of how we at the moment are with this entire crisis. Again, let me know what you think about all these uh, thoughts that I was putting out here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.